But you ready? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I was okay. Yes, give me cover here because of you. Oh my, that's both voice. No, I want to give me a I just wear a castle. I was in the church, they are doing choreography, and she, she was leading them. I was so happy. Mommy, don't worry, you'll be okay. Let us be fine. We are going to take care of you. We would see now. She's taking care of me all the way from Nigeria to Canada here. Burning like a fire What you gonna do when it crumbles down Won't you get higher Hi guys, welcome to my channel My name is Adele Doin Thank you for tuning in If it's your first time here Thank you for clicking on this video And for the returning subscribers Thank you so much for always coming through And in today's video You can see my mama and I know that today's video is long overdue. I was supposed to have done this video in a long time, but because of some reasons, we could not do it. But thank God we are here now. We are answering your questions. I remember two months ago, I put on my community tab that I'm bringing my mommy up so we can make some uh, mom style, just make some conversation and you should drop your questions in the comment sections. And a lot of people did. Not even a lot of people, I think three people or four people, but one person sent almost 13 questions. And so we're answering today, actually. So today, this is my mama. Mommy, introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> my name is Caroline. Uh -huh. And I'm happy to, uh, to have some talks with you this morning. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Oh, so if you have a nice deal, she's happy to be here and we just go into the question. So the first question is what was my childhood like? Like from my bed, how did I do when I was small? You know those kind of thing. Do you even plan having me when you got pregnant? All those stuff. Well, I'm happy she's the third one. And I'm happy to have it because she's a female child. Mm -hmm. These two the first two they are boys so i'm happy when i when i when she i deliver her okay. that she's a female girl so she's very nice even during the the child but i don't have much problem i deliver in the hospital in a private hospital and came I came early so during the time of taking care of her I didn't even have problem. I didn't put that one that I came early. <laughs> you came early because <laughs> she's just eighteen months. She's just eight months and some days. So I'm still not because good. I took uh, this uh, chloroquine injection, so I fall in labor because I have malaria during the pregnancy. So, but after some time, I was okay. Mm -hmm. So during during uh, during the time of taking care of her. She, I don't even have much problem mm -hmm. with her. And was that a troublesome baby? Mm, cry, cry, baby. All those people I don't want to she, use. She used to cry. <laughs> she used to cry. She, and she, well, after some time, when she's about to be eating the, our this is solid food, she don't like to take beans at all. So now. Mm -hmm. Up to now, <laughs> don't like beans. Well, if, you, 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 if you, 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 you prepare beans in the morning, she'll be crying. And me, je, wow. me, je, wow. that was she be crying every morning, every day that we are eating the one. If even if, if you pack that ewa for her, if she take that ewa to school, she will bring it back. So our own lifestyle, she, she's very principled. If she says she's not doing this thing, you can't even force her to do it. But she's very nice. Mm. She's very humble. But she hates cheating. Mm. You can't cheat her. <laughs> no matter and she will, mm. she will never tell a lie. She will never tell her. She will say the truth. And during that time, she used to discipline her brothers. She no tell them, the senior brother, she tell them to go and sit down that they should not talk. And during that time, if I want to make her here, she will eat biscuits, she will eat sweets, she will eat many things before you can make that here. She will continue to cry. Until you, bought, until you buy a biscuit and other things for her. 
<laughs> so after making the hair, now she'll be telling people, see, I'm beautiful. Yes, I tell her. I'm fine. Can't you see me? Can't you see my hair? She'll be making yoga in the streets so everybody knows her. That Doni, Doni Alako. Like <laughs> That's everybody you see. You know, Doni Alako. <laughs> so during, uh, during uh, uh, at a small age, people will say, I, I, Mommy, I want your child to be my little bride. I want, even that was a year we went to Lagos, all the way from Akko, went to go and do little, little bride. bride. Uh, no, I was a <laughs> so special little she's, bride. She's friendly, she's yeah, friendly, yeah. but she's a principal lady up to now. <laughs> okay, that is that. Another question, what was your favorite proud moment you guys me? Like, the day you were like, ah, you will be more like, that you were happy to be my mother. Maybe you got some information somewhere, or I did something. I one of it. I know that there might be a lot. I don't know, but one. Just tell me one. That like, like I, I was proud to be your mother. I'm happy. I'm proud of Doni because when she's she was in the university, she's a uh, student teacher in our church, St. Salas African Church, but she didn't do it. <laughs> to that question, and during that period, she used to teach those children. How to sing, how to do, it. and there was a day I was in the church. They are doing choreography, and she, she was leading them. I was so happy because ah, I said this is doing that is doing all this. So people are saying this is your mommy's Zojo. She's doing she's doing this thing very well. So I'm happy because she she can do, if she wants to do something she will do it with with sure. all our mind our mind with all what. It, she has to do it. She will do it very well. That we like it, and, and I'm very proud of him. I'm, I'm very proud of her because she's all uh, doing. So she's not a lazy little uh, girl. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what is what she was saying is when it comes to things of God, I'm always there, and I remember always doing choreography. <laughs> I don't know if I can dance like that again. Well, I I love to dance so. Obviously. So there's some questions here. So I, like I said, somebody has 13 questions and another person five. So anyone that looks uh, the same, I will just, that looks similar, I'll just match them together. So this person said, what was the most special memory you shared together? I, I will go first. Um, the memory I will talk about is when I got married and I was pregnant. Like my mom is always there before I deliver my baby. She's always there to help. She, she, she's in the medical line. So she understands more. So those are the those are that is very special to me because she's she's her attention to details. She's always ready to she doesn't want anything to happen to me. Do you get? So she been around even in the hospital, you know, trying to just trying to be there for me at that particular time. I, I think it's something that I can never forget. I just imagine if I don't have a mother, how that will have been. Because throughout my two pregnancies, she she's always available. Even when she's not there physically, she's always there to advise, do this, do that. So one of that is one of the things I know I cannot forget about her that she did to me personally as a mother. So what did I do for me personally? As a child. She always encouraged me sometimes if I'm down. You know, as a mother I'll be thinking many things about the the your your family, your your home, mm -hmm. your health, your work. She would say, Mommy, don't worry. You'll be okay. Let us be fine. We are going to take care of you. We would see now. She's taking care of me. All the way from Nigeria to Canada here. She did a lot. So she will be she she's there for me to 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 settle my mind. To take sometimes if I'm down, if I'm if I'm if I'm not even happy, she will make me happy. I say, Mom, mommy, don't worry. And sometimes okay. I, I change it for her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and sometimes if I don't want to share with her, look. Yeah. What is what is wrong with you now? Mm -hmm. Are you the only one? Mm -hmm. What's what is wrong? You so, take out. You should be strong. You are, yeah. you are a mother. You should be strong. Yeah, mommy, I thought you are strong. I don't know that you are not strong. <laughs> so, so yeah, she's always there for me when it comes times of because I don't normally share my yeah. my problem to people. To people, I will call her. 
Even the the, the boy the, the boys, I'll call uh, they them. Love, but with the love for even the love for my baby, I'll call them. They will talk to me. They, they are my they are my they are my advisors. I mean my children, they are my advisors. So they will talk to me. Let me take it easy. Everything will be okay. You'll be okay, you'll be fine. So um, has your relationship involved over the years? What was the relationship was she to love? So let me start. I, I believe when we we're small, based on how we grew, you know, Nigerian mothers, there's always strictness. But I can't really relate when we were small, maybe when I was in primary school, when I was in secondary school. But I can say when I was in university, my mommy is the kind of person that she always wants to know everything that is happening with you. As as long as when I have a boyfriend in P degree, my mommy knows all my boyfriend from when I started having a boyfriend to when I got married. So she's that kind of person that she she tried to involve with her children. She's not that street. I don't know. I can't say she's not straight. My mom does not really, my mom does not really beat us when we're small self. It's, but if she, she opened her mouth to tell you something, you would cry. <laughs> but she does not really beat us. I think the only time my mom beat us was, beat me, was when, when I was in GS2, I lost everything she bought for me in school. When I came home, because I was in body now, she was so angry. She woke me up 6 o'clock with Kim. I can never forget that day. That was the only time that I remember that my mom has beat me. And obviously, that it worth it because I really lost all your stuff there's only one clothes that i wore and came back to the house so it was so painful i understand so that's the only thing i can remember that mommy has done like beat me but when we talk about the relationship she has just built that relationship there's cordial relationship between me and my mom and even my siblings we talk to her as if we are talking to our friends sometimes we call her by name and take her own sometimes just look that you know that is the way she has built the relationship and i don't know which relationship i'm trying to build with my kids too. I don't want to be scared. I don't want my kids to be scared of me. I want them to be able to open up to me in terms of everything. So it's be easy. I remember telling her, in fact, if you don't want maybe maybe you have a boyfriend or someone just told you, you don't want to talk to my mommy about it. Forget it. Once you see my mommy, you are opening your mouth, you are going to say it. So we have that kind of relationship, that close relationship. Even my husband can testify to you that. Especially with my I think that was what why my siblings and I, our relationship is that close because our mommy brought that, um, I don't know how to put it, that union between us. We have that closeness, that friendship between my mom, my siblings and I. So, I'm not so my dad, but at least does not have time for those things. So, so, let me just say my mom and my siblings, we are that close. So, and over the time, it has revolved us. We are still, we are close friends. Let me just put it that way. We are close friends. So, that's what I'll say. So, she told me to answer that. She said, um, what, how do you support each other's passion and dream? How would I support my mommy's passion and dream? <laughs> she already have a dream. So I can say in my own time, there's nothing, I don't know. She has a, she has a way she sells uh, drugs back in Nigeria. And we try to, personally, I try to encourage her to, to sell her stuff. Most times she sells it on free. She give she used to give food. I don't know. I don't know how somebody will sell stuff and we know how <laughs> it's something to show for you because so I don't know how people will come around and say, Mommy, I'm having a day, mommy, I'm sick, and you give them free things from where you are uh, where you're supposed to get money. So I try to encourage her, push her that mommy, even if you are trying to be nice, but at the same time, try to know that this is business. You get I think that's one of the reasons why that's one of the things I used to push her passion. So Mm -hmm. No passion to you. Mm -hmm. I used to encourage my, I used to encourage her to, to be strong, to have his own principle, and not to be lazy. She's not lazy. So, and I used, I used to tell her how to save money for the rainy season, for the during the rainy season when there is dry season, we make use of it. So because I don't, out of my salary. I will keep some. I will use some to buy uh, medicine to my job. I will use some to do a cooperative. So when there is no money, I will just go there. So that is that is what I used to tell my children <clears throat> that they should do, so that all the time they will have money. And then with the mass of time to work. If you ask some people, "Why is she at the tomorrow? Is she at the tomorrow? Can you know?" 
I will be telling them because I don't know how to maybe use cane or be, uh, be somebody. But I will be talking for my mouth. Do this girl, don't do this. Do this, don't do this. So I'm free with them. They are free with me. So we used to talk as if we are a friend, mm -hmm. not mother to, to daughter or mother to son. Mm -hmm. So we are, we, we, are, we, are, we are really close to each other. Mm -hmm. So I used to advise them, educate them on their daily needs, on their heads, on their future career. Mm -hmm. Even about marriage, mm -hmm. someone that you're supposed to marry, someone that you cannot marry. Because we, we can talk from experience. In all the days, our own is different. There is no, there is no plan for maybe uh, we are doing uh, this uh, marriage counseling with Reverend and all that. We just marry. Even some of us, we don't, we don't even go for this uh, genotype. We just marry. But now, we advise them, do this, oh, do that, oh, so that your marriage can work well. Mm -hmm. And I thank God, at least three out of four now, they are okay with their family without any problem. But what I, another thing I will say about um, someone pushing passion and dreams. I remember when um, I started my fashion designing job and I, have to, I wanted to move to Bado to start that fashion designing uh, business. I have a lot of discouragement from other people, from people, but in everybody, out of everybody, my mommy was really passionate. She was so encouraging. It got to a stage, I got an apartment, I got a flat, and I could not even afford to buy anything in, inside that house. My mommy from Ekiti brought everything I need to survive in that house. From from as low as getting, um. Mother, Odonovin, my mommy brought it all the way for me, it for me, and that's one of the things I see that she always puts my passion. She loves when people talk about my sewing. When people say, "Show me your I always say, "Only sewing." I remember my brother's wedding dress. He like never so quiet. she was everywhere. Fact, I was I'm pregnant. Happy, I'm happy. She's pregnant, but even if you see that uh, beautiful dress, there were three. The engagement, the church, and the deception. Everybody was saying, Who saw this dress? I said, My daughter. <laughs> you mean your daughter? Yes. I said, Yes. Because, because uh, even everybody was even happy that ah, we thought that this girl brought this uh, girl from uh, America. America because that, that lady, she's in America. So I said, She's the work of my daughter. So I was so proud of it that. This is, so I think this she, is great. I think she was proud because at least the reason why I left where I was to Ibadan was not in waste. So that's another question is um okay. What was the most memory birthday or holiday celebration you had together? Ah you know it's a celebrate birthday man, so <laughs> it's only during the tenth years of doing. That we did just small, oh, but somebody that gave was, us cake. Big cake, one and zero. Very mm -hmm. big. One so, of our uncle's uh, girlfriend. Friend. <laughs> so we did birthday. That is, that is, the she's the only thing. person yeah, that we did a birthday. My mommy does not so, celebrate birthday. Not because she does not want to celebrate. Mommy does anything. Because so we waste waste your birthday. Because in my house, it's full house. Mm -hmm. With my kids, I have. Brothers and sisters yeah, stay with me. Yes. Even someone that is not my family, yeah. they are staying with me. So we don't have a, a money extra to money to waste on. So we focus on those people. We focus on our food, yeah. clothes, school, something. Yeah. So because she went to private uh, secondary school, <laughs> and even uh, her sister went to private university. So we don't have time. Uh, we don't have money. Extra to money. For the uh, and all that is like that. So we you know, in the salary, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a business woman. So that is. But I love birthdays. Even though we don't celebrate birthdays, but I know my birthday, I always try to bath, wear fine clothes, just be in the house. And I still do that now. So you say your favorite holiday celebration. I will say our favorite holiday celebration is always Christmas. We always look forward for the, to Christmas. Mom will have bought our Christmas clothes since October. Is it October? <laughs> With white underwear, in the morning like this on Christmas Day, she will cook jollof rice, 
make chicken, then we wear our white underwear and pants. New pants, we used to wear new pants, new <laughs> now we have new and our <laughs> new clothes. So when we now finish eating, we now go and wear our new clothes. So that is the only favorite holiday celebration we used to do by us. Christmas and New Year. And sometimes we travel to my mommy's um, town. To, to celebrate with my grandpa sometimes not every time but sometimes we go to the village for the days um how did your mommy help you through your difficult time in your childhood i can't remember any difficult time i had during childhood i can't remember but it was only the time that she was in pre-degree yeah, why in Nepal? Uh, in the United, she's serving Qatar and she wants to <laughs> do uh, uh, what do we call it? Hot water, uh -huh. warm, warm water, uh, hot water, and put rub inside and so I want to hear it. and heal it. Yeah, so on, I'm about to do it now. The water just pour on the lab. On her lab, and during that time, I was even seriously sick. So they asked me to push her from the emergency to the the word, the female word, at the state of two, uh, addict. So, we were there for three days. After that, they want to do the first semester exam as a pre-degree student. So, they took her to x center. So, we were there for, till we finished the exam. So, I was there with her, despite the fact that I'm seriously sick, um, with her from morning to evening, every day until we are discharged. Yeah, so I think that was really difficult. I, I'm trying to remember that, and I feel like crying. <laughs> mm. So, um, I remember that time it was so difficult, right? Because I was at home or maybe almost two months on the bed, if not three months, I could not do anything. And my mom, my dad, my siblings, wow, my siblings really did a lot for me during those period because I was always on the bed, lying down, I could not sit down. It was a difficult time and God see us through. So another thing is, what is the most important value your mother taught you as a child? So this question is for me. So I would say the important value my mom taught me is in any situation, you don't need to lie. I don't know how to lie. And the other thing is respect. Hey! If you do not respect anybody, or if you, you know those people that when you are passing, if you if you do not greet them, those that you don't even know, if you do not greet them, they don't come and tell your mommy, oh my in your bag, go kill me. You know those people. Hey! Once they just report us like this, we are in trouble. Mommy, we talk, 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 talk. You sometimes and I used to greet, but I don't used to open my mouth. <laughs> They say, "Cos or us, okay." Cause that's me. I don't really know how to. I don't know how to talk to people outside. I just love to to be on my knees, especially when I'm going home. I don't want to do. I don't have. I don't want any distraction. And maybe because I was in body now most of my life, so I don't really know most people in that area. So, cause I only come up during the day. And most times during the holiday, once I get home like this, I'm traveling to my uncle's house or something. So I don't really have relationship with people in that city. Let me just put it that way. But. They know me obviously, my mom is a nurse, she's very popular, most people know her. So oh my, my mommy G Day or oh, this and me, I'm not if I don't know you, I will not greet you. And that is what that always put me in trouble. So I know the important thing mommy um put in my life, like firstly, you must not lie in any situation you find yourself. And secondly, you must respect and see even the person is too much older than you. My mom believe that you must call the person and see. So to know the level of the respect she always believes in. Okay. Another question, who is the better cook or baker? <laughs> so my mommy is hey, who is the better cook between the two of us? Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she will say she's I'm the best. Tell her. What you people are cooking now, you use spices. You say, um, uh, Korean thai. Uh, use uh, uh, garlic. Uh, 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 you know this? But you are a you But now, see. So she believes that she is the better cook. You, before, I am the better cook because <laughs> some, you just pour this uh, salt as just as anything. Uh -uh. And she put a lot of uh, 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 <laughs> uh, maggi. 
so so I'm the best cook, <laughs> but when it comes times of this, uh, your this baking. salad, your this uh, baking, uh, what do we call it? Uh, Shawama, shiri 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 Benny. I don't baby. know. It's the best. Mm -hmm. But when we talk of times of obelasi, ah, mm, uh, who is people. that one? My mom is obelasi. Ah. Everybody that I'm repeating my mom is ah. obelasi before. Put it in the comment section. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> talk of a wala bado. <laughs> okay. What was the most ridiculous argument you had as mother and daughter? Argument. Hmm. When we came, when she came here, we used to have a lot of arguments a lot. But as, when she came here, we had no, ah, we never have a lot of arguments this time when we came. But I didn't have me, me, me and my mom, we used to have arguments because she, me, I'm this kind of person that I, I don't care what people say. Not that I don't care, but I don't really allow it to overshadow me like that. I don't really, I don't like it when it moves me. And my mom is the kind of person that uh, she always. Ah, you know the kind of people. So we usually have arguments over those little things when it concerns what would people say. I don't really like this. I think that was the major argument I mean we had. But not disrespect, but we used to have arguments. I I know. Because it is we are I'm the first daughter, obviously. So um we always have an argument. In short, I always have an argument with everybody in my family. So I'm the bad. <laughs> don't like me. So do you have anything? Like, no. If you could switch life for a day, what could you do? The back of the key, I am a saying, Can you cut a fit with machine? Oh, that's just what I say. Only what if money be what if we in full or job come and you pass a saying, Clear my two sheep. She said nothing. So to me, if I could turn back the ends of the time for a day. Maybe I will make my parents rich because I believe if my parents have enough, we'll have been a better place. My parents, my mom especially, have passion for kids. Even as low as, even we are like average, if not that average, uh, but she still tried to put us in the best school. Try to, you know, do the, she just try to make sure that we are satisfied. You might not do the extra luxurious things, you might not eat extra food, you might not eat snacks, all those um, necessary snacks, but at least she, know, she, she knows that we need to eat at least, even not three times in a day, we eat two times in a day, and we eat conveniently. So we don't, she doesn't allow that. She, let me just say, she knows that take about kids. So I believe that if we are rich, will have been a better place. That's what I believe. And thank God for where we are today. Thank God for grace. Thank God for uh this grace. Let me just say thank God for grace. Thank God for where God has brought us. A lot of people will see us today like eh because we know what we've gone through. We've known my mommy really <laughs> let me just go to that one. We've gone through a lot financially, we've gone through a lot. If you see us going to private school, I went to private school but believe me that private school it was a lot of loan that my mommy used to take with that private school. I remember, if you can remember, I remember there was a time in my school, almost everybody in my school has a traveling bus. Because most people in my school are from rich family, people from Lagos, Abuja, and that was secondary school. They have traveling bus, and there's no time in my life I've ever complained to my parents about it. I'll just carry my bag. I'm <laughs> bag here. bag me. I'll just put on my head during uh, the midterm break and I'll go home. And I remember when I wanted to enter university, my mommy said because of that, she made sure she bought a traveling bus for me. That because I never complained for once when I was in school. Because I remember there's some children that came after me that came to that school because of me. And one of them was like, Why did my mommy carry a bike? She was kind. If you read that child, I don't want to mention the guy she's doing that because that, mommy, that girl's mom, they are very rich, but I don't know what happened to the car, the parents' car when they were coming from the situation and um uh, visiting day and they have to take the uh, car to the mechanic. So she used a bike in between where the car stopped to the school and the girl really felt embarrassed. So let me just say I've never been I never made my parents feel embarrassed before. Even though we are not up to that standard, I took my one set permission. <laughs> Even the one set is not worth setting. <laughs> but that's what I will take to school. I remember when my mom um gave me, is it already? 
as for getting money. Where well, that should have taken like one thousand and were there into school. And somebody they stole someone's money in school. They stole someone's money in school and we have to pay some amount of money. And I know that if I pay that money, I won't have enough to to take to school. I don't know if you remember that story. I will not have enough to use for the rest of the week I'll be spending in school because once they give me two hundred as pocket money, my mommy will now calculate how many Sundays I will use in school. She'll give me the offering. 2020 naira times the Sundays that we use, remember? That the Sunday that we use in school. So I don't use to touch that money, no matter what I'm that's for offering. So that's what I do. So that money, that 200 naira is for my after my provision and a lot of gari. That is the only thing I know I will survive. So I did not drop that money. Everybody has dropped the money in school then for the money they stole. So I did not drop my so the teacher called me. I can never forget Mr. Master Shubiojo. My CRS teacher called me. I was like, why did I pay the money? So I told him that I only have this amount of money with me for the rest of the term. And we just started the term that look at and so that she not call me. Are your parents divorced? Why are they suffering you? Look at the gun. She call, he called me and he said a lot of things. Like it was so it was it's not maybe it was angry with me or my parents. It was like ah, that how can I survive like that in those school? She I remember that he called my mom and told my mom that yeah, I love your daughter, she's disciplined, she's this, she did all those kind of stuff. That's a story for another day. As since that day, that man took me as a daughter, if I remember. Mr. Shubiri, thank you, ma thank you, sir. So I just feel like if we have enough. We are in a better place. Let me just put it that way. And I'm grateful for the parents, especially my mom, that God has given us. So another thing, another question is: So I said during your childhood days, were you given opportunity to take decision yourself? I think that question is for me. No, we don't take decisions ourselves. <laughs> Because my, I think my parents were just trying to be careful. So they might even try to listen to your opinion, actually. But <laughs> if your opinion isn't making sense, they'll just take it away. I remember when I wanted to, when I was just three, I think my dad wanted to go to University of Lagos. She said, he said no. And because of that, he didn't uh, allow me to register for JAMP that year. So I have to do PD degree in the State University, which I ended up going. So there's some decision that is so difficult. We don't take decisions like that when we're small. Maybe when we now become an adult, we could take decisions ourselves. But when we we're small, no, we do not take decision ourselves. It was like how was communication and discipline for you growing up? I've talked about it already, so I don't need to talk about this one. So I think there's another question. I said, and in the past few years of your marriage, have you ever discussed any issue regarding your own with your mom? And what was her advice as a mother? Ah, I mean, I used to discuss with my mom. I won't lie. I remember when I wanted to get married. Someone told me that if you want to discuss any issue with your um any issue you have with your marriage, you should not discuss with your family. You'd rather discuss with your husband and family. But I don't believe in that. I believe in the ones you know that you can work with. Too. So I discuss some, not all, issue with my mom. And she gives her advice, but sometimes she's always by her, she'll support my husband. That is normal. <laughs> she said that is I can't normal. Support her. <laughs> really? <But> yes. <laughs> She's always by us. So, so you can't support her because what about the something is right? We we women. <laughs> Nobody can please us. <clears throat> we have one excuse or the other. But I don't. I'm. We also come from Kuneda. Everybody only last sister. Mm -hmm. But if you are, if you want your your daughter to stay. In our husband's house, you need not to support her immediately or or uh, fight yes. her husband. Mm -hmm. First of all, just just tell the, the husband to to calm down. So after some time, you may call him that this is what you do is not good. That will be between you and the husband. Mm -hmm. So because money. Eh, and it's over a log more No one call you alive, and she will open it after one after two. So it's just like that. So she's we, should, we, we should not stay outside and uh, destroy our daughter's uh, home. So we should be careful as a mother. Mm, so you can see, I've answered your question. So another question I'll be asking is 
And when you first saw my husband or my boyfriend then, my husband now, what was your first reaction? What do you think? The first time I saw him, I didn't <laughs> knew, I didn't knew I know he came from Ibado to attend wedding. Mm -hmm. I was in a church program, so I took my car and took him to the wedding venue. Mm -hmm. So after some time, Tony said that uh, this is. What his. was your reaction? Don't go well, too much. <laughs> I was like, he's too tall. <laughs> he's tall. He's like and a Ghanaian. <laughs> and he's very black. <laughs> and I thought he's a Ghanaian man. So after some time, Benny said that it's from Mudo and she was like, okay, it's Jova. Okay, so that was my only first reaction. And so far, so good. What can you say about our marriage? Like, just in two words, you don't need to go deep. In two words, what can you say about mm, what, the marriage? What I can say about their marriage is that uh, the two of them understand you should. <laughs> because if I said uh, Doni, ah, I'm saying something to Doni, I don't want your husband. She will tell me that the two of us decided on it. So don't. If you don't want me to tell my husband, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, don't make anything. So we, we, we discuss together. We do things together. Even if I want to give you money, my, my, you know that it is my husband that will send it to you. Mm -hmm. So, so we they did something. I think that makes, us, that makes my family to understand us that doing and our husband do things together so yeah, it's not mom. like you are telling me something if you tell me don't tell me don't tell me if you tell don't <laughs> anything you will tell our husband <laughs> it is not my that is how marriage grows so um another thing someone said you should sing a song to us to bless the name of the lord I will praise you, Lord. 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 If nobody can praise you, if nobody can praise you, I will praise you, Lord. So I think that is all. So the last question, last question is: What is your thoughts about me making YouTube video? Well, before I don't even like it. <laughs> When she first started, I said, what is all this, uh, this uh, something that people, everybody mm -hmm. will know what to be singing, be talking, 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 talking. And I told her that you that cannot talk. So you want to be doing talk, talk for YouTube. for YouTube now. So I don't even really love it. But after some time, well, she's an adult, she's married. So I need to support her. And you understand the reason so why I, I understand. I'm trying to help others. And they are mm -hmm. trying to help others too. So now I'm going ah, this one is doing for YouTube. This, this, this. Now, mommy mm -hmm. watch a lot of lifestyle YouTube here. Yeah. Mommy knows everybody. Uh, <laughs> it's YouTube, YouTube now. And they are doing uh, YouTube. Uh, she too, she's enjoying so it. So every day, even this morning, I've watched about two or three. <laughs> so you guys are winning, but mommy is watching your video very well. She knows everybody. She knows everybody. So I think I love this mother, mom's tag. And I don't know. Let me ask her one question. She will say, Who is your favorite child? Ah, I don't have one. <laughs> you don't have one. I, I love, I I love every, everybody. I love them all. Mm. Even, I can't even, I can't even say this is my best friend. That this is the one that I love most. If, even up to now, I will sit down. Who is my best friend among these uh, boys and girls? I know. I love them equally. But we used to see somebody to the best friend and she said, no, I must so well, man. <laughs> so uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please put it in the comment section what you like about this video, what you want to hear more on this um, topic or on this video. And don't forget to like. Mommy, me. So, okay, before we end the video, what do you want to tell people watching you? Thank you for watching us. Mm -hmm. And I want you to be following this uh, our YouTube. Yes, please. So you you will learn more things yes, about subscribe, it. subscribe, like, like, and share, and share. Mm -hmm. As you do it, God will bless you. Amen. Finish. Connect right now, and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.
What you gonna do when it crumbles down? Watch it get higher, down to the wire. Will you let it burn till we almost drown? Higher, goodbye, honey, where do we lie? Where you're headed, am I going there too? I don't wanna ask why, wanna give this a try. Oh, 